Good afternoon and welcome back to Bus to Boom. Today we take on Liverpool at home in the Champions League semi-final second leg. We've got a two-all draw away at Anfield, so we've got those two-way goals. However, I don't think it counts much in this game. Liverpool have been a thorn on our side for that long. They're quite capable of beating us at home. So, we go in quietly optimistic, but not incredibly. And then we take on Sadam the home in the Premier League. Looking to go for a record point total in the Premier League. Central last week, we beat Leicester 2-1. Uh, it was... Fairly straightforward game away from home. I actually rested a load of players, so I am really pleased we came through this. Look at the team. We've got Blanc at left back, sorry, right back. Maximo, Dam, Salazar, Newcombs, Over, Meza. New, uh, who played up front? Um, Lloyd Wolfenden played up front with, I think, Joey. So we took it easy. We really did. It left the table looking like this. We've got a game in hand on Liverpool, but we're 16 points clear. Obviously, champions by a long way. Fallen and Raphael. Need to keep an eye on this because Gill is catching up. He's having a great season. Fallen and Raphael still top average rating and Brito and Fallen. No one's catching them for assists, are they? Let's be honest. I was asked on Friday to look at the finances to show why we still have so poor finances this late on to save. And I'll show you that now because the major, major issue is the, the stadium. <clears throat> the stadium only holds 25,000. So if we look into income here, if we go to where are we, match day revenue, as I'm looking for here, uh, income, income, match day revenue should be here. So season ticket sales for a start, most of our tickets are sold as season tickets. So we get 15 million or 16 million a year from that. The ground holds 25,000. This doesn't put a dent in our wage budget, our wage, which is now 5 million a year. So that is the problem there. There's always our season tickets, so we don't get much from that. And where is the match day ticket sales? The match day income, there you go. We're only getting 1.6 million a year from match day income. And that's, again, that's the major issue here. Add, that, add to that our debts. We've got 99 million in transfer debt because I've had to buy players on the never never because we don't get enough income to have a big wage budget and transfer budget, which is, I know it's a spiral and out of control. But they won't build a new stadium, so I'm struggling. And then you go to sponsors and other. We're not. We've got what 94 million total value. So hang on. Nine. I mean, look at it per person. Our income is not great. It's it's total value 152 million over so many years. It's not amazing. So most of our income is coming from where are we? Prize money. We're only making money in prize, 125 million prize money last season. This season so far, 48, which will change. Obviously, we're at the end of the, the semi-final. If you either get through or we don't, we'll get a big chunk of money from the Champions League and we'll get about 46 from the Premier League. And then there's the TV money as well, which is about 80, 90 million. So that's what we're making our most of our money from prize money and the income from the TV. And, and that's just the long and short of it. We can't make money while we're in the stadium. The stadium's got no room for... Expansion, if you go to club info here, where are we? General facilities. It's a 26,652 all seater stadium. It was built in 2028. They won't build another one because not, we don't have the money and you have to wait 20 years, which doesn't help. So we're kind of stuck in just a cycle of buying these youngsters, training them up, and then selling a few of them off to bring in some better youngsters. So that's the issue there. So hopefully that kind of explains it. And Sass, if you want to give me any suggestions in the comments today or tomorrow or in the stream tonight, yeah, what are you streaming tonight? Twitch.tv forward slash echoes, how I can improve the finances. And don't say don't sign players and never, never. I know that. How I can improve the finances. And anyone else, that would be absolutely superb because we really do. This is the problem with pushing on to try and win the Champions League. We can't quite compete with City and Liverpool and all those teams. Budget-wise, for signing players, it has to be done, you know, not in the greatest of fashions, and we have to rely on selling a load of players. So we've already got one out this season for twenty-five million there, which has given us sixteen million of transfer budget. But that's it. I have to sell another player, who I think will be Eladrissi, to bring in a replacement for Eladrissi, and Eladrissi is now thirty. So I want to replace him with a younger player that's just as good as him with a bit of potential. And that's how, we, that's how we do it. That's why we're signing youngsters all the time. So, hope that explains that. But we will get into this Champions League game after that waffle. Which I am a little bit worried about. Because, again, Liverpool have been a massive pain in the backside for so long. We're staying positive, And this is how we're going to line up. 
Sogard, Batang, Blanc, Kift, Maravich, Agner, João Pedro, Zanardini, okay, Zanardini, Brito, Fallen, Raphael. Fallen's form's fallen off a little bit recently, so he's down as a four star. Or is it because Raphael's got that good? He's making everyone else look bad. Sogard, look at that, 7.50 for a goalkeeper. What a player. What an absolute legend. Agnes' form has dropped off a little bit as well, so we'll keep an eye on that. But let's get in here. Let's beat Liverpool. They've got Wolfgang Schneider, of course. It's the same team, basically, from the last game. we got our full complement, thankfully. We're at home. Do they have any players missing? Smith's there. Ailes there. Cockdola, the best players there. McClary's there. Uh, it's pretty much their full team. They've got Corona. Excellent. Let me get demonetized for that. Uh, what are we going to say here? Give the money's worth. No, don't get complacent. All the best out there. Don't get complacent, I'm going to say. Going to be a bit more stern with them because we're at home. We've won four of the last five. I love the way our names are all hidden here because we're in black and white. I mean, the predominant colour is white, to be honest. But And there's Liverpool. Lost one recently. So, there you go. It's, it's doable. We can beat them. The one they've lost has meant they're now 16 points behind us. And we got a game in hand. So, we will go 19 clear. I think, before the end of the season. They've shot from range. It's wide. We do hold the upper hand here at the moment. We've got those two away goals. So, even with a score draw here, they have to score three. They've got to score three, basically, to go through, unless they beat us on the night. João Pedro, straight to Pessia. Come on, boys. Pessia, hoops it clear. McClary gets there first. That's really poor from Kift, and he's in, and it's a great save by Sogard. And I thank my lucky stars. We got to sign him this year, because... We'd be in massive trouble if hadn't. Smith, born to box, caught by Sogard quite comfortably. He just hangs on to it. He's in no rush. He's on a 7.0 already. Zanardini's got it, though. He's away. He's ran into his own man there. Can he get a ball across? No, he can't. But Agner gets there. Zanardini, balls into... Oh, Raphael needs to be heading that into the ground to score there. He's headed just over. It was an excellent chance. It's very even, this game. Fallen with a free kick. Blanc's there. And Blanc has scored a goal. That's his first ever goal for Darlington. Blanc puts us 1-0 up. And now Liverpool have to come out and still score. It's still the same job for them because... But Blanc there. It's a great ball from Fallen. And Blanc just knocks it home. And What a time to get your first goal of the season. Rojas to White. To the guy I can't pronounce. Cockdola to Rojas. Let's not have an equalise straight away, please. Ailes down the wing. Can we get a block in? It's into the box and it's straight at Sogard again. Sogard just positioning wise is just outstanding. He's always in the right place at the right time. Maravich to Brito. Back to Maravich. To João Pedro. Maravich. João Pedro. Maravich again. João Pedro. Ball over the top to Fallen. He's clean through. He's rounded the goalkeeper. He's in. And I haven't seen a player do that in a long time. He's not only rounded the goalkeeper, he's walked the ball in. Now, he, I, I haven't seen that once in the save. <laughs> and I'm made up with that. It's a great ball over João Pedro. Look at the vision here. Fallen is straight in. His man stepped up. He's rounded the goalkeeper. And this is where I got a bit concerned because the player's coming in. And he walks it onto the line and just knocks it home. And it's 2 0. Liverpool now have to score three goals to go through. And hope we don't score again. He is just on side. You couldn't see the player there. Just there. One player stepped up. The rest didn't. And that's where communication at the back's key. Brito. Ball into the box. Headed clear. Back to Brito. Ball to the back post. Agnes there. Brito's there. Oh, he says it wide with an open goal. And that could have been just game over. I still don't believe it's game over now, by the way. So guard to Blanc. Back to So guard. João Pedro. Out to Zanardini. Zanardini to four and again. Can he make it three? Oh, he's put it wide. He tried to chip the goalkeeper and he's put it wide. Eight shots, four on target. 1.77 XG. We're playing excellently. Agner to Kift to Blanc to Agner. So I mean Kift, never mind. Maravic, Brito, Raphael. He's gone round his man. Can he beat him again though? He puts a goal ball and it's off the bar. Zanardini picks it up. Puts a ball back in. Brito's at the post. We are all over Liverpool, absolutely all over them. Pessia plays out to Cabrini. Cabrini out to Bueno. <laughs> He's got so many jokes that name. Smith, Kift, Rojas, Corona. Rojas back to Corona. To Kinder Bueno. Smith, Corona. 
Rojas, don't let them score before half time, please. Cockdola, Rojas, Corona. Back into McClary, Cockdola, Corona. Out wide to Kinder Bueno Smith. It's into McClary. Book so guard off his line quickly, just picks it up. Bowls out to Batang. Batang to Agner. Back to Batang. Luckily, the little ricochet gets there. Xiao Pedro. Ball into Fallen again. Fallen puts it away and it's 3-0. We're going to the Champions League final, my friends. I was going to say boys, but there is some women that watch this. But here we go. Batang gives it to Jao Pedro. And Jao Pedro's vision today, look at this. Looks up. Great ball through to Fallen. He's onside. He just slots it home. And I said his form was dropping off a little bit. He's now, what, on an 8.5, 8.9? What a, what a first half. He's having on a 9 now. He's got an assist, two goals, we're 3-0 up. Liverpool have to score four now to go through. Kinder Bueno to Smith. Back to Corona, to Cockdola, to Kinder Bueno. He's out wide, puts a ball into the box. If Batang gets it away, then he doesn't. Then Kinder Bueno hits it straight at Sogard. He was on a 7.3. Sogard looks unbeatable at the moment. We're only 34 minutes in and we're at 3-0 up. Excellent stuff. Kift to Agner, to Batang, Batang. Ball to Fallen, who's on a hat-trick. He's had a shot. Zanardini's had a shot. It's cleared. A couple of blocks in there. And you know what? I am made up the way this is going. Normally, we'd panic here, but we haven't. And I think it's because we haven't got silver on the pitch. Now, he's only on a 6.9, Agna. But he's not on a 6.0 that silver would normally be on in one of these games. Corona, ball forward, head away by Kift. Agna picks it up. In towards Fallen. Can he get there? He can't. Bueno clears it. It's picked up by Batang. Batang to Sogard to Kift. Kift all the way back to Sogard. Sogard looks up, gives to Blanc. Blanc into Agna. Batang. Zanardini to Batang into Agna. Good patient build up this. Fallen. Zanardini plays it back through to Fallen. He was on his hat trick and he's made it four before half time. I would say that is us through to the Champions League final. No issue at all. Fallen with a hat trick. A great, great ball through him. Good little play here by Fallen and Zanardini. He gives it and goes. He's away. Zanardini finds him. And he's put it away. Oh, Hat-trick for Zanardini in a massive, massive game. And what can I say? We've absolutely battled Liverpool here. I mean, they've had 12 shots and 4 on target. But look at that. 19 shots, 10 on target. 3.1 XG. 55% possession. I'm delighted with that. Um, I'm delighted with your performance so far. I don't care. They're not going to score five. Fallen's on a ten. What a game. What an absolute game. Anyway, and we'll be able to announce that one day. Rojas into the box. It's caught by Sogard. Let's keep Sogard off a clean sheet here. He's been outstanding. He puts it out wide to Brito. Brito nods it on to Raphael. Raphael puts it through to Fallen. Who's in again? Can he finish again? It's blocked. It's gone out for a goal kick. The turn on Fallen there was so quick. He was nearly away. 20 shots, 10 on target now. Pessier plays out wide to Kinder Bueno, who plays a bizarre football back into the middle. Rafael to Brito. Brito's in now. He should have played that across. I mean, he should have hit the other corner, to be honest. Went back across the goalkeeper rather than trying to play at the front post. But again, we're still dominating. Batang to Fallen. Agner now. Into Fallen. Fallen to Brito, and this time Brito does put away. Fallen with another assist. Brito slams her home. It's Darlington 5, Liverpool nil. We have absolutely battered them. And this is one of the most complete form performances we've had in a long, long time. Fallen just knocks it back, and Brito slams her home. And this is just... Wow, we are good, aren't we? We are really, really good. I'm going to start getting some players off. Now, I might get Fallen off because he's just been outstanding. Fallen for Lloyd. I'm going to get um, Agner off for Silver. And maybe give Brito, Brito for Eldrissi. Yeah, well, it'll take me three subs there. It's not going to make much of a difference. We might not keep the clean sheets after making those subs, but I want Fallen to come off to a standing ovation there, which he has done, thankfully. 27 shots, 13 on target. Five minutes to go. Let's hope there's nothing else happens. Corona. To Smith. Smith to Corona. Back to Kinder Bueno. To Corona. Smith. Into McClary. 
Cockdola, McClory, he's beaten his man. What a tackle that is. Into the back post, Vincent's there, and so God, absolutely safe as houses. The Danish beast there just collects the ball, and we have won 5 0, 7 2 on aggregate. What can I say? 27 shots, 13 on target. It's been pretty much end to end, though. I mean, to be fair, Liverpool have had 19, but we've got a 4.0 X, XG there without a penalty. What a performance that is. Absolutely outstanding. Congratulations, lads. You've dreamt of playing in the final. Some of you have played in finals before. Not many people predicted the Champions League Cup final place of Darling. Why wouldn't they predict that? We are the best. We're just unbelievable. And this is where the prize money starts kicking in even more. Everyone's made up of this. Look at this. How much money we get for getting to the Champions League final. So, they won't say, there we go. Rejected building new stadium. What can I do? What can I do? We get 10.69 million or 96 million for doing that. We qualify for the World Club Championship again. And Fallen Plate takes the plaudits. Of course he does. He's been absolutely outstanding. Where is he? There he is. Put his arm around. You superb in front of goal, Fallen. Barcelona official keep an eye on Brito. You're not getting Brito. He's not going anywhere. Not until he's at least 30. And who's this? What's he looking at now? Loads of people here looking at Maravich, Raphael and Fallen. You're not having them. No matter what financial trouble, I'm not selling my best players. Send assistance. I'm going to click on now for the Southampton game. But actually, look at the finances wise. Unless it hasn't kicked in yet, we should get 10 million more in there. And it eases it a little bit. I mean, overall balance isn't terrible considering we'll clear it now with you know money coming in. It's just this season, the profit and loss has been bad. We brought in Raphael, we brought in Agna, and we brought in the, the goalkeep two goalkeepers. So that's where the money's gone this season, the loss. Which we will make up. Pretty much the loss will be wiped out by what we get in prize money now. We're in the Champions League final. Anyway, going to click on the Southampton game and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back to the Southampton game. Massive changes. I've decided to rest a fair few players here. We got Roma in the Champions League final. So I want to keep them as fresh as possible. Milan Danovic will run wild. We know he will. Uh, <laughs> which is difficult. So going to go with Demaya, Salazar, Dam. Uh, Maximo, Blanc, Silva, Newcomb, Eladrissi, Meza, Prosperi and Wolfden up top. Uh, and that was more difficult to say than normal because it was completely different to every other team I've ever played. <laughs> but you should see how good the team below what we have is. When well, you look at the star ratings and think they're not that good, every one of those players would walk into Southampton's team, no issue at all. So, uh, come on lads, show what you can do. Keep our, Yeah, just get out there, show what you can do. We've seen Lloyd was, was it last season Lloyd Wolfenden was a top scorer in the Premier League? So, you know, it shows exactly how good the strikers we got are. Salazar to Blanc. P pumped, I'm saying pumped. Um, never mind, I won't say anything. Uh, <laughs> Southampton are in, what a great save by Damara there. I was going to say pumped forward, but then I said something else. I don't know what's going on with me. Voices all over the place. Hosseini. Guilherme. Derisley is on loan at Southampton. He can't play today. So they should be weaker at the back. Prosperi to Newcomb. To Silva. Silva to Prosperi. Prosperi into Lloyd. What a turn that is from Lloyd. Oh, what was a beautiful goal. Absolutely lovely little touch from Lloyd Wolfen in there. And he's just had a shot from range. It's just crept wide. Um, we'll demand more. We're not playing that well. But Salazar to Lloyd. Lloyd back to Salazar. Newcomb to Lloyd. Back to Salazar. Outside to Meza. Meza. Is tackled but still got the ball. He puts the ball into box. Silva's there and it's 1-0. There you go. Meza to Silva. 1-0. And like I said, the team below our actual team is pretty good. Meza's tackled here. He composed himself. He then looks up. Sees Silva. Ball straight into Silva. Sil they've, got, they've got a question, the goalkeeper. And the defendant. Who's that there? It's really poor from him anyway. Myla. Straight from kickoff, we have another highlight. Myla to Hosseni. Guilherme. Ball out wide to Blanc. Blanc to Demaya. Ball forward to Silva. Silva over top to Prosperi. We know Prosperi can finish. And oh, it's just wide. He dinked it over the goalkeeper. Would have been a lovely little finish. And we're now starting to motor and be on top. Southampton. Lenardi. Tethered away by Newcomb. Not picked up by Silver. Bit lazy there from Silver, I think. Davis to Sabin, and Sabin equalises. And a little bit disappointed in that. They, Silver should have got there first, and then they just played it around. It's one all. Okay, the team below aren't that good. They are, you know, 
They are. They've won so they won a lot of games this season. Lawrence today, it's good ball. And I've got a question, Maximo there. Maximo's played in massive games for us. And that's not it, boy. That's not it. Anyway, it's one all. Well, there's no dangerous losing the league anyway, so we may as well. Demayo's having a good game. Mez is having a good day. Silva's having a good game. Blanc was having a good game. Salazar. El Idrissi. Salazar again. To Dam. Dam to Silva. Silva beats a man. Can he put it to Lloyd? He does. Lloyd's in. Can he finish? He, I was going to say he can. That looked like it went in and was wide. I know he's not been hitting the shots on target, assistant manager. I can see that. Newcomb heads are clear. Ferguson Cowley picks it up. To Guilherme. Davis. Sabin's in again. And he scored again. Okay, you're going to see a defeat here, it looks like it. We're going to demand more. This is not acceptable. Eladris, he's playing really poorly. I don't expect... I mean, I expect better of him, to be fair. But Davis to Lawrence to Sabin. And he just puts it away. Which is isn't good. Let's see if he equalised now. Damn. To Maximo. Maximo plays a forward over the top to Prosperi. Prosperi's in again, and it's blocked. We've missed some scissors, haven't we? Three, four, one-on-ones so far we've missed. So it's not like we're not playing well. We just haven't put the chances away. And I'm blaming the strikers at the moment. I mean, look at this. Maximo with a great ball over the top. I have to say, maybe not Prosperi's fault. This is a great block, to be fair. Eight shots, only two on target. That's the issue. El Idrissi is tackled. And he's on a 6.4. He's a senior player playing really badly. Sabin brings it forward. And he shoots wide. I don't want to play Brito because he's a little brittle at the moment, especially when he's tired. So I want to rest him. So I don't want to play players that are going to get injured. But I expect more from El Idrissi. I really do. And we will have a go at him. We've had the better of it, though. Weirdly. Anyway, let's go thrash arms. I'm far from pleased what I've seen from this team. I really am. I don't want to bring on the big players. I want to leave them off the pitch. Spurs are losing to Stoke at home, so, you know, it's not all bad. <sighs> Southampton into the box. Hearty. And it's another goal. It's 3-1. Now, to be fair, Southampton win the Champions League this year. I don't think it's much of an excuse. But maybe, maybe I should have played an entire different team. Newcomb waits for the ball, which is a schoolboy error, to be honest. He shouldn't be waiting for the ball. And Lenardi puts it away. We're going to go attacking. We're going to demand more. Newcomb's not having a good game. Eladrissi's on a 6.1. He's going to have to come off. Um, Eladrissi for... It's going to be... No, we're... Joey's going to come on from. Get Joey on. Demaya. To Maximo. Back to Demaya. To Newcomb. Out to Blanc. Newcomb. Blanc again. Ball forward. It's poor again. We're waiting on the ball too much. Are we going to get done like 4 1 here? Lenardi's in again and he makes it 4 1. And we're getting absolutely pumped by Southampton at home. And that's what I get. We've just beaten Liverpool 5 0. And now we're getting battered by Southampton. <clears throat> I'd like to say it's been coming, but it hasn't at all. I know it's an entirely different team, but. It's a good finish, but I'm going to have a quick look at how good he is. He's on a 6.5. Right. We will... Silver's knackered. I'm going to bring... No, we're not. Silver can stay on. I'm going to bring on... Where is he? Raphael and Fallen to try and rescue something from this game. Or even make it respectable, at least. Lenardi to Sabin. Lenardi again. Lawrence. Silver. Newcomb. Raphael to Meza. Meza beats his man. Can he find somebody? Oh, he's just... He's running rings around them. Blanc. And it's cleared away. Salazar. Because it's not like we weren't creating chances. We just weren't finishing. Salazar down the wing. Bones the box. Raphael. And even Raphael. Can't do anything with it. Hoofs it clean over the bar. And... I think we're going to lose 4-1 to Southampton, my friends. Newcomb's exhausted. Silver's exhausted. Are we going to get a consolation back? Cleared away. Raphael picks it up. Turns. Puts it into that Joey. Joey to Fallen. Fallen. Can he cut into the box? And that's a highlight, that. Fallen putting out for a goal kick. We've had more shots. We've got a better XG and we've lost 4-1. That serves me right, doesn't it? Absolutely serves me right. 
That was not good enough, I'm afraid. <clears throat> um, <laughs> can't, I'm not happy at all. What's gone on there? Anyway, we're still <laughs> we're still 16 points clear in the Premier League. So Salazar needs to pick himself up. He wants the first team place. Maybe we should discuss support measure. Blanc to come good. Yeah, Blanc had a poor game as well. So, bit of a weird one. Bit of a weird one to end on, isn't it, really? After the... Oh. Camavinga. I might sell silver, to be honest. Camavinga's 35 now. Still three-star. Look how look how slow he is now. It's pace, eight. Acceleration, eight. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> At least things are looking a little bit like this. We have Roma in the Champions League final. We are top of the league. I'm going to have to play Silver and Rafa, uh, Fallen and Raphael to make sure they win the Golden Boot, aren't I? We're 16 points clear. There's two games to go. We've already done that. So, when are we coming back? Well, we're back tonight on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash echoes. Come along. Have a laugh. 7pm. Uh, it is warm still. So, Spurs and Newcastle are playoff line. And then we're coming back on Monday. That's right, Monday. I put up as a premier. For a FA Cup final and a Champions League final. What an episode that's going to be. We've got to win the Champions League eventually. We really have to win the Champions League eventually. Not sure what that aberration about with Southampton was. But we've got it all to play for. I'm going to play Spurs and Newcastle offline. If you are enjoying this and you want to support the channel. Leave a comment down below. That's all I want you to do. Comment. Give me a like. Subscribe if you're, if you're that way inclined. Most people are at this stage. Uh, I've checked the stats. Um, anyone that watches this is generally subscribed. So, but if you're not, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all tonight or tomorrow for an FA Cup final and a Champions League final. Thanks very much for watching.